Hello boys and girls, I have a little story I would like to read you. It's my favourite book. It's Tangled. Who's that? Is that me? <laughs> so I am going to read you my favourite story. Do you think you can help me? So, Rapunzel had long, long hair and lived in a tall, tall tower. Her hair was as long as the tower was tall. When Mother Gothel came home every day, she called, Rapunzel, let down your hair. And Rapunzel pulled Mother Gothel up into the tower. She did it with her hair, didn't she? <laughs> Rapunzel's hair was magical. It kept Mother Gothel young and beautiful. Rapunzel did not know that Mother Gothel had stolen her from her real parents, the king and queen. Mother Gothel wanted the magical hair all to herself. Oh no! Mother Gothel never left Rapunzel. She told Rapunzel that bad people wanted to, make, to take her magical hair. And Rapunzel had a friend, didn't she? Who's this? It's Pascal! Once a year, on her birthday, Rapunzel saw sparkling lights. She wished she could leave the tower and see the lights up close. They seemed meant for her. One day, just before Rapunzel's 18th birthday, a thief named Flynn was running through the forest. He had stolen the lost princess's crown while trying to get away from Maximus and determined horse from the royal guard. Flynn found Rapunzel's hidden tower. Flynn climbed up the tower to hide. Rapunzel had never seen another person other than her mother before. Rapunzel thought Flynn wanted her hair, but he didn't. Rapunzel showed Flynn a painting she had made of all the beautiful lights and asked him if she could go see them. Oh, wow, do you remember this bit when she did all the dancing? <laughs> On the way, Flynn and Rapunzel stopped in a pub. It was filled with scary-looking men, but they didn't want to steal Rapunzel's hair either. They were friendly. Look at all the friends she's made. Isn't that amazing? Maximus and some royal guards found Flynn. One of the scary looking men helped Flynn and Rapunzel escape. They ran until they got trapped in a water filled cave. Rapunzel's magical glowing hair helped them find their way out. Look, and did, did I become friends? Did I become friends with Maximus? Maximus found Flynn again. The horse wanted to take Flynn to jail. Rapunzel told Maximus it was her birthday and she asked him to let Flynn take her to see the sparkling lights. Maximus agreed and Rapunzel's wish was about to come true. Look, Flynn and Rapunzel had a wonderful day. A little boy gave Rapunzel a small kingdom flag. The kingdom was celebrating the birthday of the lost princess. The lost princess had the same birthday as Rapunzel. <gasps> Rapunzel saw a picture of the king and queen holding their baby princess. The queen and the princess had green eyes, also just like Rapunzel. Suddenly, Flynn, what did he think? He thought, oh, could this be the lost princess? So they had a lovely little dance. And look, they got to see the beautiful lights, didn't they? That night, the people of the kingdom let, lit all of their lanterns. And at last, Rapunzel's wish came true. Overjoyed, she saw the sparkling lights fill the sky. She loved the world outside the tower. She loved Flynn and he loved her too. On shore, Flynn left Rapunzel and did not return. 
Rapunzel was heartbroken. She did not know that Flynn had been tricked by the evil Mother Gothel. He had been captured and put in jail. Mother, Mother Gothel found Rapunzel and took her back to the tower. Can you see that? Is that the mo Mother Gothel? Back in her room, Rapunzel realised that she had been painting the kingdom's emblem, the golden sun, on her wall the entire life. Rapunzel remembered the picture of the lost princess and the queen. Now Rapunzel knew why they all looked alike. Do you know why? Do you know why she looked like the king and queen? <gasps> Mother Gothel was the only one who wanted to steal Rapunzel's magical hair. She had lied to Rapunzel about everything. Mother, I am the lost princess, Rapunzel said. <gasps> Meanwhile, Flynn had escaped and arrived at the tower to rescue Rapunzel. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair, he called. But Mother Gothel would not let Rapunzel go. Mother Gothel hurt Flynn so badly that he could never, ever take Rapunzel from her. Flynn still thought of a way to save Rapunzel. He cut her hair. Without Rapunzel's magical hair, Mother would not want her. Mother Gothel withered away, and finally, Rapunzel was finally free of the evil woman. But without her long hair, Rapunzel had no more magic to save Flynn. He closed his eyes for the last time, and Rapunzel cried. A single golden tear fell on Flynn's cheek. It contained the last bit of magic left inside Rapunzel. Flynn's eyes opened. He was all right. Look, can you see that magical tear? Rapunzel went to her real parents, the king and the queen. After 18 years of waiting, they took one look at the green-eyed girl and knew she was the daughter. Rapunzel had come home at last. Rapunzel loved her new life. She loved the world outside the tower. She loved her new friends. At last, she knew where she belonged and they all lived happily ever after.